What is going on guys? Welcome to a new video on the channel. Uh, I just wanted to quickly shoot this video um, on this bank holiday because I've got some pretty important tips for you guys. Um, those of you that are using the One Series uh, machines um, by Bishop in the last few videos that I've, I've, uh, I've shot and stuff like that, you would have seen me obviously get the the one packer, this is the two, the two pack edition, which is why it's gold. Um, but this is a 4.2 stroke machine and my go-to machine, well, before this, which I'll get into in a minute, was the one shader. Now, the one shader is an unbelievable machine. It's super, super nice on the skin. Um, and you, I normally run this at around eight volts, um, eight, 8.2 to 8.5 max. Um, now, with that being said, um, I had a, a lovely tip from Mr. Thomas, Carly Harley, and um, he told, because I know other world-class artists will use higher stroke machines, um, and I've seen David Vega use, you know, um, the One Packer and, and other artists that I look up to as well, and I noticed they're using them at like nine volts, and I think, that's quite a, a rare thing to do, especially with a with a higher stroke machine, because it is quite it's a lot harsher on the skin um, than say the one shader. Um, especially when you run it at a higher voltage, um, you know it doesn't preserve the skin as 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 well as a a machine that that hits a lot softer um, like the one shader. Um, and Thomas told me to um, just turn the voltage down. Um, and so I thought, okay, cool. I'll, I'll listen to what he has to say. And, um, and, and he, you know, he constantly says it. Um, and he told me to run it a lot lower than what it was. So I went down to six volts, which is really low for me. Um, but my, my, my tattoos are still coming out quite red um and i only kind of especially when you work with lighter tones um say like a really light gray wash or something like that you know something with uh that's diluted down say like a three drop cup or a, even a, a six drop cup would come out really red and i although i'd like the tattoo i've done and i knew it would heal nice because of the way i tattooed it um, it didn't necessarily mean that, you know, I liked how it looked at the end because it was so red and, and I knew this machine, the Packer, and I knew it was because it was the, the higher stroke. So I put it down. I've been running this machine now for the last two weeks and since I've had, had the advice and, um, and it's, I've been running it around 4.2 to 4.5 volts, which is silly low. And my work has improved massively. Um, the skin is hardly ever red. It's, uh, I, and I would say it's probably a better machine to use, an all rounder machine to use, running it at a lower volt than the shader. So I've been running the Packer, the 4.2 stroke machine at around 4.2 to 4.5 um, volts. And I have to say, guys, it's an unbelievable machine. One pass the inks in. Um, whereas, you know, the shade, it, because it, it does hit a bit softer, you do have to, you know, maybe do three or four passes to get the ink in. But it's but, but because the, this machine does hit a lot softer than the Packer at a higher volt, you know, it, it still wasn't as red. Um, it's a very, very, very good machine to use. Now, there's artists that will use, um, including myself, there's artists that will, will use the shader for um, light tones. And, uh, and then they'll use a higher stroke machine for darker tones, the medium tones, because it gets straight in, you know, it packs the color straight in really well. Um, and that's a really good combination to use the two with is using this for the for the lighter tones and then this one for the darker tones in the blacks. 
to pack it in. This is a way better machine to pack ink in than, than this machine. Even when I'm, say, I've got like a solid black area within the tattoo to gain the contrast you need for the tattoo to really stand out on your client's skin, this will always come up top against the shader because it, it, it just... It just packs the ink in so well, hence why it's called the packer. Um, but yeah, I just I just wanted to quickly do this video for you guys um, because I think it's 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 valuable information um, to 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 move forward um, to all you subscribers that do subscribe to this channel and and um, those of you that do catch my live streams, which is predominantly what this channel is known for. Um, me just basically giving out kind of free tips and, and, and stuff while I'm tattooing um, on on my live streams. And those of you that have stopped by have 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 asked what machine I'm using now. And those of you that are long long term subscribers of this channel will know that I this is the goat for me, the greatest of all time, the shader, unbelievable machine. But I've recently been trying it out. And um, it's literally taken two or three tattoos to get used to this um, at a lower vault. And I'm quite a, well, I'm a really fast tattooist, naturally. It's just, it's just my natural speed to be like that. Um, and a lot of you do envy that, but it's, it's, it, it really doesn't matter about how long you take um, to do your tattoo to complete it. It's more what quality you can achieve. Um, and you know, quality of the tattoo is far better than trying to do it in a quick time. Um, and, and, and yeah, I, I, I've, I've been using the packer and I'm going to be, I'm going to be, uh, continuing to use the packer because it's, it's unbelievable and I'm really, really getting on with it. Um, and you know, the shader does come out, uh, you know, on clients that have got really, really, really sen sensitive skin. You know, you touch the skin and it just bleeds and weeps and stuff like that. Like that's or 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 goes red. Like I've got I've got sensitive skin and um, I would pro I would probably use the uh, the shader on myself because it does hit the the skin softer. But it would be interesting to see me run the shader at a, a lower volt, um, having run this at a, lo a lower volt and seeing how much of an improvement it is on the skin um but because it does hit hard i think well it doesn't hit hard hard like the the liner but it hits hard enough for the ink to 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 really go into the skin first time um and and yeah i'm i'm really really enjoying using it so i just wanted to throw that information out for you guys um just to lower your voltage on a high stroke machine, whether that be another machine that's a four stroke or a 4.2 or whatever, um, I definitely probably wouldn't use the liner, like a five stroke machine to shade, because I think that's way too harsh, even at a low voltage. Like you can, when you're tattooing with this at a low volt, you can really feel every single time the needle goes, you know, out. Um, it's not like a smooth thing, it's like, like you can feel it. And the client can feel each time the needle goes in as well. Um, as long as you slow your hand speed down, you're still gonna get a super, super smooth shading with this. Um, and and yeah, I, I, I think because I am now tattooing at a lower vault, um, it's taken, you know, the time for me to complete a tattoo a lot, well, probably like an hour more, which is still quite fast for me. Um, but yeah, accompanied with, if you guys saw in my last video, the needles that I use now, the Quadrant Sublime needles, which are sublime, they're unbelievable. It says what it, you know, does on the tin, does what it says on the tin rather. Um, the Quadrant needles are probably the best needles I've ever used in the last 10 years I've been doing this. Uh, and I've used a lot of needle brands from cheap to more expensive and, and the quadrants are just by far the best needle I've ever used. Uh, and the Sublime ones just up the level even more, which is crazy to think because they were so good before. Um, but yeah, the Sublime needles with this 
accompanied with the critical battery power or the B charged battery power one from Bishop. Um, it's a it, it, it's just a killer machine uh, and a killer combo, and you will really, really, really see your work improve um, with a higher stroke machine. I don't think the higher stroke machine is probably suited for beginners, which is what I've said before on this channel, um, purely because of how hard it hits, um, and you do have to kind of get used to like a mid ground three point five stroke, which is the shader. Um, that kind of machine first to really gauge what you're gonna because I think the packer it is still quite hard to line with and I love lining with the shader because I don't know what it I don't know what it is about it it just it just lines super well with like smaller needles um, whereas the packer I still feel like I'm still getting used to lining with it um, but I but I still, it depends on the style of tattoo you do. If you're doing like traditional or neo-traditional stuff, then lining with, uh, you know, the liner, say, the, the one liner um, is still the best thing to do. Um, but this is still like a really, really, really good middle ground um, machine to, to do is like a, say you've been tattooing for a year, try this out. Try it out. Try a 4.2 stroke machine out. Um, the one pack is an unbelievable machine. Really, really, really. But it's taken me, you know, it's taken someone to give me advice to to really know what the machine is capable of. I knew it was a good machine when I saw so many very, very, very good people use it. So many world class artists use it. But I, I just needed to unlock its availability and and its and its um, talent, really. I guess in a machine and it's uh it's definitely probably my new go-to to be honest it is probably my new go-to but but yeah i'll try and drop some clips in um of me tattooing and, and you can see the difference between you know running it at six volts and literally dropping it by two volts and you can see the difference in how smooth the shading is um and 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 less red i think this i think obviously technique is going to be um is going to be the number one thing for your work to really look good you know smooth and, and crisp and stuff like that but having really good equipment with re really good needles running it at the right volts the right hand speed that's the secret to getting really 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 nice smooth work um and that's and that is what it is and, and then it's just practice 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 every tattoo you do you just want to look to get better then it's just, then you have to you know if you can applicate if your application of of your work is 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 a a high standard then it's just design work you know something I probably look back and um and think I could be bet I could be better at but I've just used this time to really get down the fundamentals and it's taken me probably eight years of tattooing to um to be let to be happy at a level that i'm at i'm at now um to then really push into the design element of it um and um and yeah and that's where i'm going to be going forward probably so anyway guys this this is short and sweet wanted to just put this video out because i think this is going to help a lot of you with these two machines um it's definitely helped me 100% and every time I, I, I look forward to using this machine now because it's it's just it's just something new and exciting for me to, to think yes I can use that machine today because I, I love using it and um, if the if your artist is happy then you know your work is going to be a lot better and a lot smoother and the outcome for the clients going to be happier so Thank you very much for watching guys please subscribe and i will probably be going live very soon uh in the next couple of days i uh, think i'm back to work tomorrow after this bank holiday here in the uk and um yeah please smash a like on the video if you found this helpful and i will see you in the next one guys thank you very thank you very much for watching and take care.